On October 27, 2016, police raided the 1851 treaty camp. We ask to hear our prayers. This was Red Fawn's camp, and also the front lines against the Dakota Access Pipeline. Red Fawn was serving as a trained medic. She was helping injured water protectors who had been sprayed with mace and hit by rubber bullets. In Lakota Way, Red Fawn is my little sister. As Red Fawn retreated from the front line, three officers targeted, tackled, and threw her to the ground. Red Fawn is being accused of firing a weapon. Eyewitness accounts and video footage show otherwise. More than 140 people were arrested that day. All have been released except Red Fawn. Her bail is set at $110,000. Our family has been involved with the American Indian Movement for decades. Red Fawn is a human rights advocate, organizer, and community leader within the Ogallala Lakota Sioux. Her mother, Troylin Yellowwood, taught her the importance of fighting for social and environmental justice. Red Fawn is a political prisoner of Standing Rock. She joins a long legacy of people who have been arrested as figureheads and have been unjustly accused. Since August, more than 500 water protectors have been arrested. On Fridays, in a show of unity and support, we ask that all water protectors wear red in solidarity for Red Fawn until she is free. Go to freeredfawn.com, sign the petition, donate to her legal fund, and learn about her case and why we're fighting for clean water. And join us. Come to Standing Rock. Let the sacred water be life. Standing Rock, we stand with you tonight. Hey, oh, hey.